Imagine asking a simple question. Where is the center of the universe? It feels like there should be an answer just. Like the center of Earth is deep below us in the molten core. But now try this. Where is the center of Earth's surface? Suddenly, the question breaks. The North Pole, the equator, granite, all of those are just conventions, arbitrary choices we made. And here's the mind quister. The universe is like the surface of the Earth. There is no center. Anywhere you stand, you can call that the center end. Everyone else can too. Now imagine the surface of the Earth expanding. Cities drifting farther apart. Oceans stretching. From the outside, you'd see the whole planet swell like a balloon. But that outside doesn't exist for the universe. We live inside the cosmic surface, with no external vantage point. Yet we know the universe is expanding because distances grow, light stretches, galaxies redden. Just like we could notice Earth expanding without ever leaving the ground. But there's something even stranger. Just like Earth has a horizon, the universe is one too. Not because of curvature, but because of time. Light travels only so fast, and the universe has only existed for so long. So we live inside an observable bubble, a sphere of all the light that has reached us since the Big Bang. Inside this bubble, modern galaxies, farther out, younger galaxies, and on the very edge, the earliest snapshot we can ever see, the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. We're not at the center of the universe. We're at the center of our own cosmic horizon, just like every observer, everywhere. And that's how you imagine an expanding universe with no center. And no edge.